Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Listen, we got a banger today. We got a few boys out. You guys have been asking for the collabs, so we had to make it happen. Right here, got my boy. What's up, First man? date fishing. How's it going, dude? Finally got him down here. We, I'm telling you, we've been trying to plan a trip for so long. <laughs> oh my god. Several hurricanes and just so much crazy stuff. But we're out here today, man. We're gonna catch. We're making it fish. happen. Hey, and then man. we got we got my boy Fletcher the fisherman. What's going you know, on? I know you guys don't know him. He's yeah. only been in a hundred episodes. I the last haven't been months. in any <laughs> kicking their catfish TV. <laughs> <laughs> then we got my boy uh, Ada. Man. I'm the coolest out of everybody. Yeah, That's why I'm last. You know what I'm saying? You haven't seen my boy I'm, Ada. I'm about to go out here. I'm about to. I'm about to catch him. I'm about to catch him. Yeah. I'm about to catch him. Actually, no, I'm not gonna catch him. I'm gonna kill him. Honestly, you gonna kill him? Yeah, bro. me and I'm gonna go smoke these boys. Yeah, we're, we're, we got a little competition. We're actually gonna like smoke both of you. Like you better have brought your A game, and probably like better than your A game because. Bro, you crazy? <laughs> Dude, you I'm crazy. You, like it, it's it's gonna happen. Like, it, we, it, this is perfect. Like, all right, all right. This is, it, it, if the bite is like we think <laughs> it's gonna be. By the way, pressure's dropping, storms coming it's in. It's windy. It's windy. It, they should it's be eating. so windy. Like they should be eating. It's so. I mean, look at the clouds. I mean, it's like overcast today. So what do you you, what do you think, bro? Forty fish? You think it's like a forty fish a day? Forty fish day? I think. I don't between know. Between everybody? Between everybody? Or yeah. each? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about each. Now you you getting a little too crazy. Nah, I'll be I'll be getting forty for myself. I don't know about uh, you. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, at least like sixty. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some fun, guys. Thank you for clicking on this video. More importantly, thank you guys for the support recently. <laughs> I'm gonna get your butt, bro. <laughs> It's gonna be a good video, man. We're gonna try to catch some bass and uh, just have a good time overall. So we're gonna hop into this one. Hit that like button if you guys want to see some more collab videos. We're gonna be filming a ton. They're gonna be down here for probably like five more days. Fletcher's gonna be down here too. And uh, then we got a mystery guest coming uh, very shortly. So it's gonna be fun, man. Uh, let's go ahead, hop on the boat, try to catch some fish, and more importantly, smoke these fools. Let's get it. All right, so we're out here today. We're gonna be trying some top water fishing. You guys know I love top water fishing. Pressure's dropping right now. You know, big storm coming in. So. I'm thinking it's gonna be good. We got a ton of wind today. I do apologize about that, it's ridiculous. But I got this speed wake right here. So A-Dub has been throwing the heck out of this. I have tried it two different days and I haven't had any luck, but I just think it was the day, you know, the fish weren't eating top. So we're gonna try it today. The movement of this thing is disgusting, which I'll show you guys on the GoPro. If you guys do wanna get 10% off, I'll pop up my code on the screen, but we're gonna try it out today and see if we can catch some bass on it. If we don't, we're gonna adjust and uh, see if we can catch some more fish on different baits. But for the most part, we're gonna stick with some top waters, try to cover some water, and um, hopefully catch a giant today. So let's get it, let's get it, Mike. By the mm -hmm. way, I got Mike on the boat, right there behind the camera. What's up, yo? Yep. And uh, A-Dub Fletcher over there. It's gonna be a good day. So let's go ahead and get it started. All right, so we got this mock smash and a mock crush. Not the sexiest thing in the world, but that has been my top water combo for about a month now and it's worked perfectly fine and i haven't really wanted to change it so this i believe is called shad sense that's the color it's a beautiful natural color i'm gonna be honest this color right here i'd rather throw in a sunny day not cloudy conditions like right now um, but i think it's gonna work either way if i had to pick and i had multiple colors i would throw more of a bone and a white color on a cloudy day that would get munched on the sunny days um, when it comes to baits like this even big swim baits or wake baits top waters um for the most part i like throwing those translucent natural colors on sunny days and that's exactly what i'm throwing but like i said i think it's going to be fun we're just gonna have to get out here and try it i'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing in the water see if we can get a cool shot of this thing running it does have a little bit of a ripple but let's go ahead and get today started you guys can tell this is like a freaking giant this is nine inch Oh, oh, dude, no way. He bit it three times, dude. You already got bit? Yeah, bro. Just, he bit it three different times. I don't know how I didn't hook him. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to throw this in the water right here. Let's see how this thing moves. Oh, look at that. Ooh. That is disgusting. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I know there's a little bit of chop on the water. But pretty much what a wake bait is, it, normally if you throw a normal wake bait, you want to throw it when it's dead calm outside, but this one's actually designed to reel at the maximum speed. So you can reel this thing a lot faster and I'm able to throw it in this wind today. So I'm excited to see if we smoke some on it. So let's go ahead and get it started and uh, see if we can catch a big bass. I don't hook pine straw the whole time. <laughs> Is 
should be one around this dock. Oh gosh, dude. I've had two hit this, but they're not, they're not getting pinned. This actually is the wrong rod. I shouldn't be throwing it on this rod. I thought this was my medium heavy, not my heavy. Switch up if I keep missing fish. All right, guys. So um, I'm actually gonna switch this rod. Like I said, it's a heavy rod. I didn't think it was my heavy, and I'm not gonna allow myself to miss more fish. There's no point. And even waiting, I was like, if I miss one more, there's no point in that. I already know it's gonna be better off if I switch over to my other combo. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna take the smash reel off. We're gonna put it on this other crush rod, which is a medium heavy. And we should be good all right guys we're good now we got uh got my good rod on so we should be set now we can hook some fish oh look at that first cash just had one destroy it wow why did he not eat it it's crazy throw it back in there problem is guys this side of the bank all this wind's pushing up in it pine straw everywhere every time i cast out there i got a piece of pine straw on which obviously that fish isn't gonna bite it with pine straw on it so that. Look at that right there, dude. That was insane. So small. <laughs> I threw it in there, dude. The moment it hit the water, I didn't even reel it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Calm down, bud. We got our first fish. First fish on the speed wake ever, actually. My first fish ever on this thing. I threw it under those trees. That's that's the sad part, guys. I wish I was throwing like a frog. And something I can get under there, just a little bass, but look how fat that thing is. Yeah, he's a, little, a little fatty. It's a small one. Thing is, guys, if I had like a frog or something, I could skip under these trees. It, it would be unreal. But I'm gonna keep trying the speed wave. We might switch up to a frog. We can play around with it. <laughs> if I can get a frog under there, guys, you're gonna see some crazy footage. We'll try the speed wave for a little bit longer because we've had some bites on it. And if we have to, we'll switch up to that frog. Yeah, I just keep getting that pine straw. All right, guys, I got to do it. I, there's so much pine straw. I can't even throw this. We're going to tie it back on in a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to put on a frog. Since this is just a topwater video, we're just topwater fishing with whatever. Now you guys are about to see some insane footage, so stay tuned. We're going to skip this frog way up in them trees, and it's going to be dirty. Now we got the Vega frog on. You guys are about to watch it happen. Do you have a chatterbait or jig? Um, you put a chatterbait on, I think, much. All right, this should be it. Horrible. Horrible cast. Oh, look at this. That was weird. He just, like, pulled it under and didn't eat it. Oh, my gosh. Disgusting. Look at that. Tell me how that's possible, bro. Did a perfect skip in between them pillars and somehow stuck on some wood. That is not coming off. how big his head is dude that is head. <laughs> it should be like a three pound fish like two pounds oh wow look at that thing okay hey, bud okay bud come down look at that one yeah, it's not a bad it fish a giant head <laughs> look at the, his head's like a solid three pound head and a two pound body look how skinny he is that's funny right there on the frog of coming down this bank again with the pine straw so i can get this frog up under the trees Look at what Mike's throwing. Show him what you're throwing, dude. That's just dumb. <laughs> Big old goldfish. It's like a giant goldfish just That's picking up a bunch of nasty stuff. That's a good fish right there. A good little fish. That one ate the frog. That one wasn't playing. So weird. You either have him just not eat it or that one just choked it. It's weird. Oh, oh. Dude, there's a big bass. Dude, he was the, that was the dangle bite. God, oh, that was so cool. Oh man, 
he was roaming the edge dude and i saw him and i he just saw my frog dangling from that tree look how he ate it that time i love how the fish can't eat it when it's in the water but when it's in the tree they just like demolish it that's funny it's a pretty fish right there guys man that was cool see on cloudy conditions like today is you know these bass are going to be roaming a little bit more i'm not throwing the right baits today i'm just being stubborn but you know i'm getting bites here and there on the top waters so beautiful little guy nothing big still haven't found them giants but we're gonna keep hunting that was so cool i like saw him there and i saw him turn his head when he saw my frog hanging there really? <laughs> yeah that was crazy i thought he was big dude i thought he was like four pounds he looked huge when he flashed <laughs> another reason to not throw top water guys when you're not supposed to <laughs> Dude, that was a good bite. Throw it in there, Mike. I'll let you have that one. All right, guys. I'm actually going to. I know it's top order video, but you know, I'm gonna tell on a chatter dunk just to see. I, I want to show you guys some catches. And like I said, today's not the best day for top. You know, you gotta adjust to the fishing conditions. I don't care what the video is. You know, I, if I don't adjust, then I'm not gonna have the fish that you guys want to see in the video. Somebody talking to him. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Okay. Choke that chatterbait. Right yeah, dude, right at the boat. He just loaded up on it. Not a bad one. Not a bad one, boys, on the chatter donk. Oh yeah. I miss the old chatter donk, boys. Dude, their heads are so big and their bodies are skinny. Actually, that's probably the best one. It's easy two and a half. Look how he ate it. Oh, well, he didn't check it too bad. Well, there we go, guys. We had to put the top water down for a minute. Let's pick up a old chatter dunk, old reliable, and that is almost a three pounder. That is awesome right there. That's a, that fish is way more filled out than the other ones. Yeah, that's nice. It's a pretty, pretty fish. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much for biting. You ate me right at the boat. There we go, guys. That was our first fish on a normal bait today, non top water just to try to get some fish in the boat because they act a little weird. He ate that thing a little further off the bank, which makes sense. Like I said, on cloudy days, fish roam a little bit more, whether they're roaming the grass edge, roaming the edge of them lay downs. You know, this, this fish, when them clouds get up like that, they start roaming a lot more. So just something to think about. And that fish ate me out of the boat. So, you know, with that being said, we, we might need to be off the bank a little bit more. Another one. <laughs> that was crazy, guys. Pretty fish. He's, he's actually a really light bite. Very light bite. Pound and a halfer. Chatter donk. Beautiful guy. This wind is cooking. He choked it, though. It's crazy how I barely felt him bite it, and he ate it the best out of any fish today. Pretty guy. Beautiful markings on that bass, nothing big, but gotta love catching them. You got you one? Oh, oh, oh. My God, he's <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what is our luck, dude? We almost had a double up there. Mike, Mike spit the jig, of course. That's, that's our luck. Man, I have been reeling this thing a lot slower too. That's one thing I realized. Yeah. That might have been why they weren't eating that trap. You know, it might have been a little. Fast. Yeah, and they weren't eating that top water either. They're just. You know, I thought they'd be biting a little better today. That pressure dropping, storm blowing in. Yeah, this there he is right there. That's a good one. Yeah, baby. Chatter dong, guys. You can't put this thing. That's a good one. Wow. Best fish today. That one's over three pounds, I'm pretty sure. Or does he only have a three pound head? <laughs> is it the only? Yeah, it's a three pound head. He tricked me. He's almost three pounds. He might, he might be three pounds. That is a big head, dude. Look at that. Boy, he, he, he That's a three pound fish. Right? Look at the, <laughs> look at the head on that. Like that is just, that might be a three pound. Or it was probably two and three quarters. I wouldn't even. But look at the head. That's a three and a half, four <laughs> pound head right there. That's a good fish right there though. Beautiful bass, man. 
crunch that chatter bait. I, I just love it, guys. I love throwing the chatter donk. I've taken long breaks from that thing because last year that's literally all I threw for like 10 months straight. So <laughs> catch one like that, man, brings me back to the good old days. That's a solid, that's a three pounder all day. Now we just need that four number. That one ate it off the dock too. I just think the Roman, and I think us staying off the bank like this is what's gonna get us bit. All right, guys, since this was going to be a topwater video, I kind of want to talk about fish behavior in certain conditions and why the fish are acting the way that they're acting today. So a couple things that I, I picked up on today and that I've already known, I've just been really stubborn about is today is an overcast day, okay? And right now when it's overcast, this is one, this is one thing to think about. When, it, when you got a ton of clouds in the sky, especially heavy winds, how it is now, what that's gonna trigger in my brain and a bunch of other fishermen's brains is this fish are roaming one because the clouds are out and two, they're gonna be chasing a moving bait, therefore, because they're roaming. If it was a sunny day, you know, we might wanna pick up that jig, that worm, something on the bottom that they're, you know, they're gonna be positioned under those trees. They're gonna be positioned under some of these smaller docks and they're gonna eat something that's slower that you can get under there and just shake in front of their face. So today, the thing is, you know, they want a moving bait. Cloud covers up, the wind's up, the pressure's low, the fish are roaming, the fish are eating bait fish. So they're gonna eat these little shad baits just like this chatter bait right here. Another thing with that top water, oh my gosh, I just had one right there. I actually watched them eat it. So this is the thing, when it goes down to the top water today, usually when you have these 100 degree days, which right now it isn't, we have a storm pushing in. But with how consistent the summer's been with these 100 degree days, you're either gonna catch them in the morning or the late afternoon on the top water. At least that's when you're gonna get a really good top water bite. You know, the conditions weren't setting up for me to catch them on these top waters today. You could already tell another thing I was paying attention to is how the fish were eating the bait. You know, they were just coming up and they weren't eating it. And there's two different scenarios to that. They're either coming up and not eating it because they don't want top water, or they're coming up and not eating it because it's the wrong color. Which in my last episode, I talked about how I like to use a black frog on cloudy days and a white frog on sunny days. Well, if you guys saw what I was doing, I was throwing that white frog on a cloudy day. They weren't eating it. So that could have been one of the reasons. So it's just a couple things I wanted to talk about. And, and the reason I switched up to this, and I think it's a great example, you know, when it's cloudy out, you got the wind moving, pick you up a chatter bait, pick you up a spinner bait, pick you up a jerk bait, pick you up a bait that you can cover water with. And another important thing is stay off the bank a little bit more because this bass could be roaming. So next time you go out, if you're having trouble, you know, throw in the normal bait that you do. If you're in cloudy conditions, pick you up a moving bait, pick you up something that you can throw around and go try it. Especially with this fall bite that's gonna be picking up very soon, which we're gonna have a bunch of videos about. We're gonna go in depth with it, but let's keep on fishing, it's enough talking. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's the biggest one today. That is the biggest one today. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, that's a freaking dude, nice he, dude, he choked it. <laughs> ate that thing good. Guys, look at how that one ate the chatterbait. Look at that. You can't even see it from the side. That's insane. That's one of the biggest fish today. Easy three pounder. That is a good one, man. These fish have been so skinny with big heads on them, but this is one of the more balanced fish. It doesn't have a huge belly, but he's not as skinny as the other ones. And that is a beautiful fish right there. He just choked that chatterbait. It's crazy because I've had three bites before this that weren't eating it. And then this one just chokes it right in the back of his throat. But that's a beautiful fish right there. Get him back in the water. It's been a beautiful day outside. And that's why you gotta love fishing right there. There she goes. There we go, guys. That is, I'd say, the biggest fish today. We've had two pretty dang good ones. It's funny how these big ones are biting. One thing I didn't say earlier either is working this bait really slow. I'm having to, to really reel it in patiently. And all of a sudden, you know, they're not hammering it. They're just loading up on it. So all of a sudden, you just, you, you don't feel that blade vibrating anymore. Or you just feel, you know, one hard load up. And, and that's when you get that fish. You know, they're not really clocking it. 
you know, some days they'll come out and they'll just be hammering that thing, but that's not that's not how they are today. And having to reel this thing slow, be patient with it, and the big ones are loading up.